All right, so we're checking out the Radiolink F722 flight controller, and this is actually the version with the full stack with the 6D amp 4 in 1 ESC. And it comes in a really large box. This is, I think, the first product from Radiolink. I think they're kind of getting into beta flight and iNav. Uh, they have some other, I think, previously they made some like ArduLink, ArduPilot flight controllers. So, let's go take a look at this and see what we got here. And uh, you know, this is going to be a pretty typical uh, 30 by 30 stack here for most of your 5 inch and uh, 7 inch quads and some of the larger ones. So, let's see what we got here. Seven, F722 flight controller. F, there's the MCU there, USB C port. And uh, we'll talk about all the specs here in a second. I'll look at the product page, but it's got some nice large solder pads here. Mm, shiny PCB. I'm not sure if that's conformal coated or not. Doesn't seem like it is. Or very, very lightly coated. Got black box chip there. I think that's 16 megabytes. And then on the bottom side, you have all of the plugs, which is kind of nice. Some of the other, there's some other flight controller boards out there where the plugs are on the top and the solder pads are on the bottom, which I think is backwards. I think they've done that correctly on this one here. And I believe this one has a bunch of BECs, uh, notably the 12 volt BEC for your DJI connection or some sort of HD uh, video transmitter, but you can see all the plugs here. I think there's probably a, a wiring diagram inside there. We'll pull it all out. But yeah, this is, I think the uh, voltage regulators are under this uh, sticker here. Yeah, those are the voltage regulators. Uh, the BECs are under this little QC sticker. And let's see what else we get in the box. We got some whole bunch of uh, stuff here. All right, so you get a bag of a whole bunch of these connectors. And obviously this is going to be for the flight controller for all these plugs here on the bottom, various sizes. So you'll have to consult the manual to know what goes with what. And it does come with a paper manual inside here. It's probably why the box is so big. And uh, oh, specifications right off the bat. So if you want to pause the video, I'll read off some of the ones here. ICM gyro. Um, BM280 barometer, 128 megabytes of black box data, pretty nice. Does come with a analog OSD module, the uh, AT74560, that's, that does the Betaflight OSD chip. Does have eight motor connectors. Input voltage is 3 to 6S. And here are all the BECs, 3.3 volts at 300 milliamps. 4.5 volts at 500 milliamps, 5 volts at 3 amps, and 12 volts at 3 amps. And they do have a user controllable switch here for the 12 volt BEC, so you can program that in your modes for user 1 and turn off the 12 volt BEC. So uh, for those of you that maybe like maybe sitting on the ground with your, you know, DJI um, VTX or some other digital VTX, you don't want to overheat, you can turn that off via switch on your controller. All right, nice little color photos here. Shows you what comes in the package, all the different cables. Again, pause the video if you want to take a closer look at any of this stuff. And we've got a nice diagram that shows what all of the different plugs do. So you got like your ESC connection port number one and port number two. So you have motors one through four over here and five through eight on this plug, pretty nice. And it looks like there, your DJI port is down over here. You can see the 12 volts on this plug over here. And everything is nicely labeled so you have your connections to your EC. So if you want to do an octaquad or octocopter with eight motors, you can do that with two 4-in-1 uh, ECs. This one only comes with one though. And again, here's the wiring diagram. Alright, so I'm just going to fly through this. You can pause the video if you want to take a closer look. Shows your camera connection, LED strip, GPS. That's uh, pretty much covers everything. Uh, all the connections you would have for digital or analog. Has some information about the flight controller firmware in Betaflight. And the target is going to be Radiolink F722. Alright, so here is the 4-in-1 ESC and the little uh, rubber grommets were not pre-installed in this one. Uh, they were pre-installed on the flight controller, and you can see the size difference here. The flight, flight, uh, the flight stack's going to be like this. Obviously, you can have that rubber grommet in there. 
and you can see right away, it's, you know, the 401EC is a lot larger than the flight controller, but then your uh, motor wires are in the corners, which is pretty nice, actually. It makes it for uh, easy to build and also easy to repair. So if you, you know, break an arm or you want to break a motor, and you can easily desolder it without having to, you know, take the flight stack or flight controller off. Sometimes with the motor pads are kind of in buried in there, you are forced to take the flight controller off to get access to that. You won't need to do that here. You can see very clearly, very easy to access those pads, no problem. And uh, this is a 60 amp 4-in-1 um, ESC, but it is using 32-bit firmware, so it is BL Heli 32, which of course we know is now defunct, um, out of business, and they're using that prototype firmware. So uh, manufacturers are continuing to put these out. Now, granted, I haven't heard of any major problems with these prototype firmwares. Now, again, uh, if you've experienced a problem personally, do let me know. But uh, yeah, for the most part, these should be fairly reliable, but the fact that you can't upgrade the firmware, you're stuck on that whatever's on here is a bit disappointing. And uh, you can, of course, change the settings with the BL32 configurator, but the uh, firmware itself is locked down. Let's see, we got a, um, a capacitor here, 35 volts, 680 microfarad, pretty thick wire here. This is 12 gauge, yeah, 12 gauge wire on your XD60. And this is all pre-soldered on. Pretty nice. So basically, you just use that plug. Plug this into the flight controller. I think it's going to be this one right here. You probably want to do something like that. So your plug is going to go like that. Pretty. Yeah. Obviously, that grommet's going to be there. It's going to sit up a little bit higher, but that's pretty close in terms of the plugs. Maybe. Maybe better to flip it over. I'm not sure. And I probably can't do that because the motors are. Yeah, this is motor one, that's motor two, so that's this is obviously the back, and then you're gonna have your USB port probably going out this side over here like this. So the plugs are pretty close right there. Anyways, quick overview here of the Radiolink F722. Not sure when I'm gonna be putting this into a build. Probably my next five inch build, and not exactly sure when it's gonna be. I don't I don't have any uh, five inch frames in the pipeline right now, so it might be a little while before you see this in action. Um, but it does seem like um, the the feature set of the flight controller is quite high. It's got pretty much everything. Now the price is around eighty dollars for the stack, and I think it's forty dollars just for the flight controller. It's um, it's I think in line with some of the budget stacks out there. So if you look at the ones from Kip RC, I think those are only a little bit cheaper, like $75. And these do, they do come with 8-bit ESCs instead of the 32-bit ESCs. Of course, you may actually prefer that if you don't like the fact that you can't update the firmware. But for some, for some of you, it may not matter. So it's kind of up to you. It's a judgment call. But I think that's going to do it for this video. I'll link uh, the uh, this down in the video description if you guys want to check it out. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.